abolitionist still. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'd like your attention, please. I am here to protest sin. Sin that has destroyed my own life. Sin that has destroyed my family. Sin that has destroyed my community, my state, my country, and this entire world. Jesus brings a message to the prince of the power of the air, Satan himself. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. You may think that you are here by accident, but I can assure you that you are not an accident. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the God of this universe. He is not only my Lord and Savior, but He is your God. And will you give Him glory? There are two ways that sinners give Him glory. One is from their repentance and faith. Christ is the only sacrifice for sinners. The other way that sinners give Him glory is that their lives will be demanded in payment for their sins. Are your sins covered by the blood of Jesus? Or will they be forever demanded by their own suffering and torment and eternal hellfire from which there is no escape? I call you and command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to believe in Him to believe in the cross of His torment, His payment for your sins. If you refuse, then you have only one promise from me and from Elohim of Elohim. After death comes the judgment. Be convicted of your sins today. To be saved by the Holy Spirit or continue to believe in Satan and his kingdom. But again, be warned. Everything in this kingdom, everything in this kingdom will pass away. Your body will rot and everything you have done will come to nothing unless you repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Be saved and be warned. There is no salvation in anything else that you can do. In fact, you can do nothing. But I command you, anyways, by the proclamation of the truth, by the power of the Holy Spirit, to be blessed, to be a sinner who have been saved by grace alone through faith alone, by God's word alone, and for God's glory alone. This is my message and this is my hope. This is the only message that brings salvation. Anyone who brings another message from another angel, from another man, from any principalities or powers, let them be damned to eternity. This is the word, this is the truth. Do not be deceived. Do not mock God and think you will escape punishment, for he is coming soon and his reward for those who trust him in his right hand. And in his other hand, judgment and pain and torment and misery and condemnation for all those who rejected his son, Jesus Christ. May God be glorified with our lives. Everyone who makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning since the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Who is the destroyer of the works of the devil? But our Lord Jesus Christ. And he has delivered us from fear of death into the dominion of his son, to the kingdom of his son and our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the message you have been warned. You will pay with your life or you will pay by, by your repentance. Which will you choose today? Repent and trust in Christ or trust in a political power, trust in yourselves, trust in BLM, trust in anything else. The only name is Jesus Christ. Amen. So here we are at the Medford Police Station. 
We're calling sinners to repent and believe in the gospel. We got many saints here gathered. Many uh, protesters, counter protesters. Can you please pray for God to intervene? That mercy and kindness to be shown to wicked sinners as we all once were, as we are still sinners, saved by grace. It's only by His mercy that we are saved. Jesus Christ saves sinners. All who turn to Him will be saved. Not one will perish. There's Brother Matthew bringing a conversation to somebody. Brother Mark. Brother Brett. Jackie. Robbie. Since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the very same things. That through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong slavery. Do you want to be released from slavery? We are all slaves to two masters. We are either slaves to sin and Satan, or slaves to righteousness that leads to life in Jesus Christ. Who is your master? Repent and believe in Jesus Christ. That is the only answer. Sin has no justification. You are not righteous for hurting someone else because they hurt you. Jesus Christ is the only righteous God-man that saves sinners. Trust Christ alone. Do not trust yourselves. This is the message. You have heard it. You are now responsible. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's obvious. This is a battle for souls right here.
Jesus said, whoever does God's will is his brother and his sister and his mother, which makes God our mutual father. And his last prayer before the cross was that you and me would have unity, oneness with God and oneness with each other. To people of every color, God extends the beautiful offer of joining his family. And in it, there is no room for inequality. There is neither Jew nor Greek, neither slave nor free, neither male nor female for those who are in and have put on Christ. Amen. Jesus wants his church united. And at the same time, he also came to divide separating the goats on the left and his sheep on his right, those who follow a stranger's voice and those he knows and calls mine. So what does this mean for today? Honestly, it's hard to say, because it's hard for me to see a way out of this racially divided hole, but here's the gospel. You know, the first step, the first step is submitting to the God who resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Amen. The same God who takes broken and hopeless and hurting situations and makes them whole. He is so faithful. He hears us when we pray, and when we pray according to his will, and when we pray in Jesus' name, there is no stronghold of Satan that we cannot play. Dear Father, yes, sir. help Amen. us yes, sir. bring unity, bring yes, peace. Yes, Let your will be done tonight, God, yes, with your hands. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, Amen. Amen. Thank you.